Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. There were some few requests regarding the extended monitor and how the, it works on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. I did some preparatory or some setup with the TV that I have. You can do the same thing with your uh, extended monitor. The resolution actually is on the TV is also really good, which is actually usable, I would say. Then I will showcase how you can do, what kind of options you have in this uh, Chromebook Duet. And uh, for this setup, you need a, I have a keyboard, I have a mouse, which are Bluetooth. I have a USB-C hub, which is connected to HDMI to the TV. If you have a USB-C to USB-C monitor, you can also use it like that. This is like connected to the HDMI port and I will showcase how you can use the Lenovo Chromebook, how can you can also Im improve your, uh, uh, your productivity kind of using this device. So let's get it started. Please subscribe and support my channel. So I will start with the settings that we can get here. I will try to bring the like the primary display to the TV so we can see all together in the big screen what options we have. In here on the Chromebook you have the option to do that so I will come here and set the TV which is the Samsung student here as a primary device here. So now you can see this is the primary screen and the Lenovo Chromebook is the secondary here. And uh, you can see the settings here, you can make the display size for the TV here, also different. You can see the icons also getting bigger. And if you want to use different resolutions, for example, you can also use different resolution. Also refresh rate here, this is like 30 Hertz only. I have the maximum here. You have the orientation, you have also the night light option. So when you click on that also, you have the night light uh, option to have it in your settings. You can also go to the built-in settings. You can again here in the screen, if I select here the primary screen, then the Lenovo Chromebook will be the primary screen, then the settings will be shown there. You can obviously change the resolution of the Lenovo Chromebook to it also here, and the orientation, and again the night light there. So when I switch it on, again, there will be both actually when it go to the, this night light works for both of the devices. You have option here to mirror built-in display. That then in this case you have only one screen and it's just mirrored from the Lenovo Chromebook duet there. I use extended one I, because it makes much sense here to work like side by side in both devices. I will show how the video kind of looks. If I go to open a Chrome browser here, I can also make it bigger. I have a keyboard now here, I can go to the Verge kind of, I have to type it quick. Now we can see that we have the Verge website and the TV here. Definitely you can move it also back to the, uh, the remote Chromebook to it, which I did then now. You can see it, I have it here, you can move the screen here to here, you can go back also make it multitasking there and also back to the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, which works also both ways. It's a bit tricky here when you're moving it, sometimes you have to be careful not to go to the multitasking mode here. Now I will go to the YouTube here. I have the YouTube here and I will try to play something. That's it. You can see that the audio is coming also from the TV here. I can also make it a little bit loud here. You can see that it works perfectly. I can now make it pause. Go back here. Again, I can make that smaller. Move back to the other one. Now I want to showcase what else you can do. Obviously, like extended monitor here, multitasking. Also, you can play games here. So if I come to the games here, I click on one of the games here that I have. So it will run also on your TV. So you can play games in the much higher resolution here. 
I will, I will wait a little bit to see showcase their games here. And it works really good actually, I checked it before. You can see that now the Lenovo Chromebook Duet has different screen as it's extended here. So you can have uh, two screens next side by side. Obviously you can do also Chromecast here if you have a like a Google TV or the Chromecast enabled devices. You can mirror it, but I would not recommend it. I did that. There's a lag between the how the screen is shown. One second, I have to move this here. Now you can see you can also play games here. Definitely, if you have a gamepad, also I would not now play. But uh, as I was saying, with the Chromecast, you can also mirror. But the playing games with the Chromecast, I feel there's a delay between the Lenovo Chromebook Duet and what's shown in the TV. So you cannot play games actually using the Chromecast because there's one second delay. So if you have a gamepad, you click on one something, and one minute, one second later, it's then registered, which you cannot play any game. But for watching videos, you can use the Chrome, like this Chromecast thing also. But you can see, like here, you can really use this. If you want to close it again, I can close this game. And now we are back to the settings option that we had. Now we can go to the other window. And you can also set the wallpaper here. I have to bring the settings option back here. Now we can also set the wallpapers, change it, but it changed both of them spontaneously kind. If I want to go back to the settings, in order to go to the settings here for the devices, you have to go to the device and the displays option here, device, and then you have to go to displays, then you have displays for built-in display and Samsung. The, the Lenovo Chromebook or Chromebooks in general, they have this adoptive setting. So when you connect something, they recognize it and show you more options kind of that I realized also when I was using it. So if something is missing in the menu, it doesn't mean that it doesn't support it. You have to connect the proper device, then it will recognize and show the settings here as it's happened also here. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next one.